every single Sunday we get together and we analyze Brooklyn Nine-Nine to the what? core. Really? Yeah, that's what we do at After Buzz TV. So we are huge, huge fans You're just of... skipping Mad Men entirely? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cares? anything from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Don't tell them about Mad Men. <laughs> they don't know this. Oh, you guys have such a treat waiting for what? you. Mad Men really? is amazing. Yeah, I actually really don't good. watch it. I'm guilty of that. But It's like, uh, it's almost as good as Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah, almost. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's almost as good. It's not quite as psychologically dense right. as Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> They don't take on the serious issues yeah. that we take of on. Course. Yeah, yeah. Of and, the, and the psychoanalysis. Right. Of the no, yeah. no, it's, it's, it's but it's funny. It's hilarious. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two. Now I know where Book of Nine Nine comes from. These two. <laughs> Hilarious people. You guys, okay, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it is fast, it is witty, it's quick, like these one-liners, these plots. Where do you guys get the inspiration from? I was about to curse right there because I'm so passionate about this. Are you not allowed to curse on this? No, we have to bleep it out. Okay. Well, you can. No, but you still you bleep it. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking curse. <laughs> nice! Um, okay. Nailed it. Um, we spend hundreds and hundreds of hours in a room with 14 writers pitching every idea imaginable and hopefully coming up out of every thousand ideas coming up with one idea that is funny and fun and, and then we write scripts and then the writers go through it and they add 40 pages of jokes for a 30 page script they'll add 40 pages of jokes and then we take that 70 page script and cut it back down to 30 pages so it's it's work it's a lot of work what do you find yeah. that makes the comedy writing so different from other comedies that are out there? From Well, you're obviously Parks and Rec, I'm sure, has some similarities. But, you know, Modern Family to all these shows. What what joke do you want to use that goes, oh, this will work at Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but not anywhere else? I Every show has its own tone and its own, like, weird little ecosystem. And that comes from the people who created it, the people who write it every week, the actors who act it, the, the like, vibe on the set. It comes from, like, ours comes, I would say, in large part from... Like Andy Samberg and Andre Brower, just right. they have such an interesting tension between them right. in, on the show, not in real life. In real life, they're very close. <laughs> but like, it's just what, what happens is you you make up, you take a bunch of stuff and you throw it into a room, and then this thing, this organism, sort of like grows, right. and it has its own vibe and its own kind of rules. So like, a joke that would work on another super funny show wouldn't work on our show, and vice versa, exactly. because it's just it's its own thing. So and the best jokes are really specific on any show. Right. For Character those characters specific. and right. those situations. Yes. And so because there's no character like Captain Holt on another show. Right. There's no like, like that's you know that's why stuff you do works a great job of keeping the line to the character, keeping the plot to that character. Lots of questions because I know I'm getting rushed to get you go, you go, but you guys do a good job of balancing comedy. A little cop there, a little romance prickled in there. Are you trying to sustain this balance for season three? Last question. Or are you trying to delve into one topic more than the other? What's no, your kind of? We're going. We're going super dark yeah. next year. Oh. It's gonna be like uh, Jake kills Holt. <laughs> That's all I will say. <laughs> yeah, it's dark. And then he. Oh, damn. Yeah, okay. and he blames Terry. Sign it, out the press releases right now, guys. This is happening. It's like no. Rec Have you seen Requiem for a Dream? The movie Requiem for a Dream. No, I actually that's like the tone we're gonna go for. We're, this is the sequel. Weird thing, we're doing a sequel to Requiem for a Dream. Um, Season three. Okay, got it. Uh, no, we yes, we are gonna keep that balance. 